Hey guys, it's Kat from the Motorhome Travel website Wandering Bird where we share tips and tricks for touring the UK and Europe by motorhome and camper van. Now one of the questions we get asked about a lot is the exterior storage box that we've got on the back of our van. It's not a traditional motorhome storage box, it's not a plastic one. We have got an aluminium box and a lot of people asked A where we got it from and B what it's like. So we thought we'd give you a quick review on how we use it, how we attached it, and how it's been after, how many years have we had it for? Two, 2018, no, three. So yeah, we thought we'd give you a quick rundown on all of that. So this is a box that we got from Indispension, but you can also get it from Amazon. Can you? Yep. Okay. Um, how wide was this one we've got? That I would say is about 1.2. Yeah, it's just over a meter, would not it? Yeah. Like it. Um, and yeah, it's, I mean, it's 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 aluminium box. It's really lightweight. It um, is lightweight. When You've it, put a seal on it. When it's when it's in its correct state, that's yeah. the lid that's supposed to be on top. Yes. It's waterproof. It's great. It's not a problem at all. And we've put them on different things. Oh, actually, we've got one on our bike trailer, <laughs> and we've got this one. We've got this one and I've got one as a So is this the first one we bought? This is the very bought? first one we bought. Okay, cool. So people are gonna be asking why we put the lid on the side. So if, it, if you if you hold hold that. If this was the lid and I was trying to dig in and get stuff, whereas that what? And then the, we've got this clever handy thing. That works, just a piece of wood and, and it props up. In. Not like that. Oh. Fine, do it better. Go on, right. show us how you block it up. Oh, was available then and there we were on a, a mission to get oh yeah that's when we got it wasn't it when we went to Norway yeah we however we could have got we had the option to get the big plastic one one of the problems with the big plastic uh, box was it covered half the back windscreen yes and I didn't want to cover it because and the black the bikes the plastic one fit onto the bike rack as well like yeah, it fits on the bike rack but a lot of vans who've got like an end bathroom and stuff haven't got a back windscreen so therefore oh, that's easy that's so if we'd fun. had an end bathroom and no back window would we have picked up did you call it a back windscreen i'm sure i called it a window you have to play back the video <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm reserving the right my brain's just caught up with my ears well, I, I'm, I'm reserving the right <laughs> fine to, um... so we've got a back windscreen but i agree with that the whole point of having an end lounge just so that you have all the light and the views yes and, and having a big box there kind of defeat the point not only that we wanted to to make sure that we could see the bikes as we're, we're going i do use the back windscreen we oh, really 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 need new stickers oh, don't we uh, they're, they're pretty trash. They are pretty uh, trash. We've got to figure a way of putting them on and making them last a bit. Um, we don't even have a new WB sticker on there. No, we don't. Oh, no, we've got one at the end. But that's the old new one. Okay. So, so um, why no, have you put a seal around it if it's waterproof? I put a, no, it's waterproof if it's vertical. Because it's on its side, I was worried that water would get inside And it. has water ever got inside um, it? No, water hasn't got inside it. It, it does very, very well. So. But it, it's brilliant. I wouldn't go to one of the big plastic ones. Okay, so two questions. Firstly, what do we store in it? We store, because we don't have any external storage, we store all of our outdoor stuff in there. So we've got chairs, we've got our mud mats, we've got our barbecue stuff. We've got the stand for the big table if we have any. We've got the water, hose, yep. connections for the water. We, the extra we have water. The logs for the bucket. Um, oh, can you pit. hold the lid for me a second, please? This thing, which I was trying to find the other day, which is just blinking awesome yeah it's what you connect and goes into your water fillery thing and yeah, i wondered where we put that didn't realize it was still attached to the hose mm. how did you fix it to the bike rack yeah. what did you do it has the uh, fixing points for uh for the, the bike slats that go across yeah so i used those same holes and went straight through drilled a hole into the side yeah. and then just bolted so it's, it down. it is permanently fixed but it, it can't it's, move and it's been up and down mountains and all sorts it's, of things the only thing it does do works because the leveling chocks are there the camera doesn't look down to the tow hitch so i don't always see the tow hitch but you know generally if the the trailer's on the back the tow hitch is okay i fitted the the aspen eye so that we had um, an extra lock on there oh yeah that's true it, it, has, come with that, it does it? come with a lock okay. I, I i like the 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 ruggedness of it okay should we end on that note yep. okay thanks so 
we hope you found that useful if you are looking to get a different type of storage box for your motorhome or perhaps like us you don't want one of the big plastic ones that covers the back window not the back windscreen then that might be an option for you i'll leave all the links in the notes so that you can find where we got it from and get some more information about it if you're new to the channel by all means hit subscribe the little bell you'll be notified when our next video comes out in the meantime from me and mac thank you very much for your time and i'll see you on the next video take care bye